Hi guys, welcome to I Just Want to Open Things. I'm Becky. And I'm Rick. And today we're going to open the Thimble Stump Hollow uh, Leprechaun colorway designed by Amanda Louise Spade and Chris Reignac. We've opened a few of them already and uh, we have the whole set. So let's get started. We needed one, a display box for that guy there. So here's one that's just in the bag. Ooh. It's the Gadabout. This is the Gadabout, and he sits a little funny by himself, but that's actually because he is designed to sit atop the Husky Shuffler. And the Husky Shuffler, uh, kind of worm-like, I guess is worm -like? what we talked about before. Um, he's like a potato bug. Potato Not bug. a potato bug, a potato, is it a potato bug? Those caterpillars, you know, those, those squishy, the squishy caterpillars. Is that the potato bug? No, potato, <laughs> bugs, potato bugs are those little tiny pill are bugs. Are you talking about right? like an inchworm or something? No, I'm talking about those large green, the large green puffy uh, caterpillars. Oh, okay. They hang out on tomato plants and stuff. So we might take all that out of the video because nope, we Nope, we're no going to talk about that. It is. Uh, anyway, he has a hole in the bottom of his bottom to sit atop the Husky Shuffler, and we'll show you that once we actually get the Husky Shuffler opened. And he comes with a little peg that you put uh, in him that he pops right into that Husky Shuffler. I like this donut. You've got this blue, mm. uh, really nice looking donut on a string to lead the Husky Shuffler along. And this sits nicely right inside his, his hand. There you go. <laughs> actually got it to, that's to really good there. first try now i don't want to move him too much he might drop this so let's move this <laughs> out of the way oh he dropped it there's some cute things going on with him here i like his ears he's got those really big black shiny eyes and a great little backpack this you guys Ooh. is grumblethorn now, I've got to say, uh, these are my favorite colors. Yeah. The Grumblethorn has a really great little pinched lip here, some teeth popping out. I like his antlers. Those antlers are really cute. And it looks like, is he begging for something? Um, or he's like, yes. 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 <laughs> there you guys go. That's the I really uh, like the, uh, the green highlights on this guy. Oh, yeah. So around his, uh, his lips and his cute little feet in his hands and his little bum. Uh -huh. Oh, there he is. It's the Husky Shuffler. <laughs> and our little squishy caterpillar friend. Yes, squishy yes. caterpillar friend. And as we all remember, he likes tart, tart lemonade. Tart, tart lemonade. So here's the Husky Shuffler. There's actually a peg that comes with him. And that's just to fill in the hole if you're just gonna display him separately. Or, <laughs> and there you go, there's your Husky Shuffler, uh, the color combo with the orange gadabout. He's got his little uh, donut to lead them along so he can travel atop that Husky Shuffler. It's my turn now, so I'm hoping to get uh, Atticus. <laughs> Uh, this is Slumber Guppy. He's a lot bigger than I thought he would be. But Slumber Guppy is, of course, sleeping. He's got great little kind of leafy antlers going on or feelers. A cute little teddy bear. And he's got a little butt. Or maybe, no. <laughs> <laughs> or. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, there Aww. you go. I'm hoping to get the Tuffle Pug. Tuffle Pug. Ah, it's our friend Clover. Now we've seen Clover before, but Clover is worthy of seeing again for sure. Clover has these cute little antennae right on top and some really sweet clear wings. And then these nice little stripes too. I, I, the body shape, everything about him is very, very unique. What do you like about him? I like his buck teeth. Oh, <laughs> and his buck teeth. He's got a little kind of a face, like. Hmm, kind of just chilling, relaxing. <laughs> yep, yep, that's what I do when I relax. <laughs> that's the face I make. If you ever see me and I'm doing that face, 
I'm super relaxed. So we have Pippet. Pippet uh, has, what would you say, a ruffled collar? Yeah, or like a really high tutu. Or a really high tutu. Those big, glorious eyes. No arms to speak of. No arms. His ears, though, are really great. I like the height on these. There's a lot of depth going on to them as well. And overall, cute color scheme. And the eyes are great. I like how shiny and giant and black they are. Yeah. Uh-oh, guess who I got? It's your old friend, Atticus. <gasps> and he's as glorious as I expected him to be. I didn't realize how flat he was gonna be, that's cute. Atticus has some killer wings. Mm. I mean, they, they've got really great shape to them. He is a little sloped. So Clover. is Clover. Clover yeah, and Clover. him are kind of like related, it seems. In some way, shape, or form. Let's pull Clover over here. Come on over, Clover. Come on over, Clover. Atticus has some, actually some white, some light color on top of his ears here. You've got some, um, some blending of the color there and it gets a little light on the tip. So that is Atticus. Probably one of my favorites. Uh... That was me. Oh, that was you. You're right. <laughs> I've got another one we haven't seen yet. Oh. And this is Buckley. Wow, these antlers. Uh, Buckley's got some really great antlers here. They're yellow on the tip and kind of fade into a darker green. And then his ears also have that yellow on the tip and go into the orange. So really great paint jobs. You've got light yellow on the feet and then he's a good solid orange little guy i like how his ears kind of are soft and flow back he looks really innocent love those ears yeah oh and he's got a little tail too we haven't gotten um let's see tuffle pug and verbal gum and yeah. we have uh four more boxes left so there's something something going on here something exciting <gasps> It's one of the colors, the other colors. Look at this. Wow. It's okay. like a, a reverse. So we have uh, Grumblethorn again. And if you remember, Grumblethorn actually came in this really great blue. And then we have a color variation uh, in the set. And he's got yellow on the tip of his antlers. And um, he's a lighter kind of yellowy beige color and cute little blue accents on his mouth, his hands, his feet, and of course, his little rump. You think he's like the ice Grumblethorn? Oh, certainly could be. The abominable Grumblethorn? <laughs> we have Burble Bum, and Burble Bum, he's got, got a big old chin here going on. He's got those cute little pursed lips again that you see in, in a lot of the uh, Thimble Stump Hollow characters here. Some light color variation on his feet, on top of head, and actually quite a little different bum there <laughs> <laughs> than we've seen. These, the figures that have like the puckered faces, I think are all of the ones that were done primarily by Chris. Oh, right. Um, and he's got this really good way. He does, uh, he has a really great Instagram that has a daily his sketches. Yeah, his daily, daily sketches sketch. that he does. Yeah. And he has this great way of adding all of these wrinkles and stuff that give the characters that he makes this very, like, soft, like you would think and they would life, feel like, like, a, like, like, like a squishy a pillow or a manatee yeah. or something. A manatee or a pillow. Yeah, yeah. a manatee or a pillow. You know, like, <laughs> basically manatees and pillows are very similar when you touch them. If you've ever touched a pillow, you've basically touched a manatee. So somewhat squeezable, somewhat kind of squishy. This is, of course, a lot. Is it? Manatees are not soft. Oh, no, they seem like they'd be very rough skinned. Manatees are actually, Thick. yes. Like uh, elephants? Yeah, in fact, the manatee's closest relative is the elephant. Oh, well, there you go. And this may be another distant relative of the elephant and the manatee, burble gum. These are orange and yellow burble bum. Mm -hmm. His cute little bum. Yeah. And then again, those color variations, those little hints of color 
that I think really add a lot more dimension to the toys. We have Tuffle Pug. He's got one snaggle tooth coming out of his mouth there. <laughs> I like the detail under his eyes. He's kind yeah. of got some baggy eyes going on. Uh, these leafy kind of tentacle, like a leafy fern. And his little belly button. He's got nice uh, color highlights on his belly, his hands, and there's his cute little butt. Is he my favorite? Um, I'm going to say... I'm gonna guess no. I think you like Grumblethorn better. Uh, no, actually, I like oh. Burblebum the best. Burblebum, okay. Atticus is still a favorite of mine. I also <laughs> like longtime friend of the show, the Husky Shuffler. Oh, the Husky Shuffler. Well, that's it. We, yeah. We've opened all of the Leprechaun colorway for Thimble Stump Hollow by Amanda Louise Spade and Chris Reiniak, uh, and they're great. Rick mentioned on Instagram, Chris Reiniak does daily sketches, and he's got some really great characters on there. Amanda's also got some things that are pretty creepy, so you guys should go on Instagram, check them out, uh, like our video, comment, let us know which one's your favorite, and hopefully we'll have more of these yeah. on I Just Want to Open Things. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Thanks, guys. See you next time. The cat is eating the bag. Tiny. Psst. No. <laughs> that has not helped. That has not stopped him. Hey. Tiny. Ah. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, step right up. We've got two donuts left. One at a time, please. No pushing or shoving. Yeah. Did anybody hear what he said? Uh, I think he said something about new donuts. Like they're new? There's new donuts? Um, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I think the line is moving. Donuts. Sir? Sprinkles. Sprinkles. Frosting. Um, excuse me. Excuse me? Uh, how many did you say you had left? I didn't get one yesterday. Two donuts. We've got two donuts here. Count them. One, two. Never getting donuts, am I? There's no buts about it. <laughs> <laughs>